name is Leonard Golly. I have been involved in the martial arts for over the last 15 years and currently hold a fourth degree black belt in Tong Soo Do and a first degree black belt in Neon Goshen Aikido under the direction of Sensei Robert B. McEwen. I am the current owner of the Fighting Chance School of Self-Defense located in West Pittston, Pennsylvania. Hi, I'm Sensei Al Delgado, studied under the Nihon Goshen Aikido system for the last eight years. I currently hold the black belt in Nihon Goshen Aikido under the direction of Robert B. McEwen Jr. The purpose of this video is to show how Aikido can be blended into your own personal self-defense system and or martial arts discipline. Today we have chosen to use Tong Soo Do in conjunction with Aikido. During the course of this tape, we will demonstrate first a classical Tong Soo Do technique. Second, we will demonstrate a classical Aikido technique. And the third and final product will be a combination of both Tong Soo Do and Aikido. Hopefully you will enjoy this video. Thank you and let's get started. Ready? Assisting me today is Sensei PJ Proust. Okay, what you saw earlier is the Tang Soo Do block, the inside block off a roundhouse into a strike with the elbow. In Aikido, what you saw is the blending aspects of Aiki, the principle, spinning around into a shoulder throw. What we're going to be doing now is combining the two arts, the two principles, into <coughs> the strike shoulder throw, turning him on his belly into the arm bar. If you see uh, Sensei Pruz uh, wearing gloves today, it's cause of medical reasons. Again, combination, it'll look like this, a block into elbow, into a shoulder, into the arm bar. Do a left side, uh, right Left side, strike, shoulder, into the arm bar. Okay, if by chance you come in and you strike, and you don't strike into the chest, but you strike into the stomach area, being that this person might be a little taller, you might have to go down on your knees and deliver the shoulder throw off your knee. So it'll look like this. Down on your knee, into an arm bar again. So either way, whether you hit up the top on the shoulder, on the chest area, or you hit into the stomach area, causing his body to go down, the throw is still possible. Right? We're going to take this uh, technique now and do it off combatively. Roundhouse punch. Right, uh, left side. Okay, we're going to show it. That was from the chest area. Now we're going to go into the stomach area into the knee and shoulder throw. Side. Combatively. Okay, what you viewed earlier was the Tang Soo Do principle and the Aikido principle. Now we are going to combine the two. Okay, if the backhand's coming, you want to enter in block 
elbow strike into the face, backhand causing the body to go back, following through with a forearm into the nose area, following it through. Okay, backhand slow, one, two, the elbow, backhand causing the body to go back, following through with the forearm. Try the uh, left hand, block, elbow strike, backhand, following through. Okay, very important that when the backhand comes out, that the elbow strike is caused into the a neck or the chin area, causing him to go back in the direction that you want to go into, with the forearm, into the throat, into the nose, doesn't necessarily have to be any one or the other. One, finishing the technique. Combatively, it'll look like this. Other hand. I will now demonstrate the Tong Sudo Aikido combination using Sensei Kevin Gutierrez. Uh, as you saw in the traditional Tong Sudo attack, which Tong Sudo is primarily a hard style, as Mr. Gutierrez was throwing the right punch, you're stepping in, blocking with the right arm, delivering an elbow smash to the back rib cage area of Mr. Gutierrez, staying in a hard styled stance and in a position. Okay? As was demonstrated by Sensei Delgado uh, for the Aikido, as the punch was being thrown, we do not stop the energy. We allow the energy to come around into the front control position, causing our partner, or Uke, to take a fall. Um, what I'm now going to demonstrate is the combination of the Aikido and the Tong Sudo, putting both strike and blend into the technique. All right, ready? rolling over into the arm bar positioning, holding on to the elbow and pushing straight in, causing pain. Right. As the punch was being thrown, the elbow was coming over into an elbow strike position. Punch was being thrown, we were blocked, elbow strike bringing around into the front wrist row position. What we were doing is we were crossing our thumbs, we have the meaty part of the hand uh, with our three fingers. Our key fingers are pointing back towards uh, our partner or uke. And we're, from here we're going to roll towards the obi or our belt, causing uh, uke to fall. From here we're going to pull the arm forward, locking it out into an arm bar positioning, rolling him over onto his belly, holding on to the elbow part and pushing straight into the shoulder, causing pain. We will now demonstrate the straight punch combatively. As I key up, as I'm doing the technique, we'll highlight the elbow strike uh, from the Tong Sudo style as we are going through the technique. Hey! Yes!
We will now take the technique and we will combine it with the Tong Su Dao. Uh, we will go through it very slowly, uh, highlighting each point and each part of the technique. Uh, Sensei Guterres will drop his right leg back. He'll be coming down with an overhand. We're going to step in and block with our left hand with an elbow strike to the temple or eye socket area, key hopping on the uh, elbow strike. From here, the right hand is going to roll down, come back up to the side of Sensei Guterres' head. What we're going to do is we're going to compress the head to the shoulder as we take our left leg and spin it around and push down into the technique. From here we're going to lock and roll Mr. Gutierrez over onto his belly and press straight in into the armbar technique causing pain. Again very slowly as we step in and block the overhand chop we're going to bring in a right elbow strike to the side of Sensei Gutierrez's uh, head area key hopping on the strike. Take the right hand we're going to roll it around Bring it back up to the side of Mr. Gutierrez's head, concentrating on pushing the head into the shoulder area. As we spin our left leg around and push down into the ground area. From here, we're going to roll Mr. Gutierrez over by his elbow onto his belly. We'll lock the elbow and push straight in on the wrist, causing pain. Again, very slowly, block, elbow strike, key eye. Rotate the right hand down around, bring it up to the side of Sensei Gutierrez's head, pushing into the shoulder area. Take the left leg, spin it around, pushing into the ground. Roll over by the elbow area and locking and pushing straight in on the arm. We will now demonstrate the technique at combat speed. One more time with the right. Left-handed attack, please. Left-handed attack again. Left hand, at a left leg at attack, please. Right. We will now demonstrate the roundhouse kicking technique. Uh, we're going to demonstrate the combination of the Aikido and the Tong Su Dao. Uh, when Sensei Guterres throws the kick, um, I will be sliding in with my right leg uh, and my left hand will come up and block. Here what I want to try and do is as the kick is being thrown, uh, Sensei Guterres will put his leg out here for me please. As the kick is being thrown, it is traveling at its fastest out here. So, and as you go in and progressively get in towards the hip area, it, the kick is traveling at a lesser speed. Now here it's probably traveling at 100, uh, 90, 80, 70, all the way up the closer you get to hip. So what you want to do is as the kick is being thrown, you want to be slide into the technique and we're going to come up with an uppercut strike to the midsection. We're going to hook the leg, uppercut, blend, and sweep causing the UK to be right in front of you. From here you can come with a knee strike to the groin, come with a strike to the groin, you can grab the, the, uh, the ankle and the foot area, pinning it against your leg and fall straight back causing the, the ankle bone to break. 
Again, demonstrating that slowly as the kick is being thrown, sliding uppercut. Rotate around, scoop the leg, knee strike, punch, or lock and fall backwards, causing the ankle to, to, to break. Again with the right, slowly sliding in, uppercut, grab, hook, knee strike, punch, or fall back, pinning the ankle in and causing the ankle to break. Demonstrating from the left side, sliding in, grab, strike, scoop, knee to the groin, punch to the groin, or again locking the ankle into place and falling back. Again with the left attack, slowly, strike, scoop, knee strike, punch, lock the ankle in, and fall back causing the ankle to break. <clears throat> the right handed, uh, I'm sorry, right side technique done at combat speed. Time with the right. Yes. From the One more time with the left. take this off of the combination of both styles with the backhand coming up backhand coming up blocking striking with the roundhouse kick stepping in front throwing the back leg into the back of the knee sliding up you have the lock up here by leaning forward causing a lot of pain We'll take the other side, backhand, stepping out to the side, roundhouse kick into the, into the stomach region, sliding in here, holding on to the hand just in case, keeping him from actually trying to hit me with the other hand. Turning around, into the back of the knee, putting the foot into the back of the knee, causing pain right here. Grabbing the back of the dough, lifting up, locking up. Hair, face area. Begin slow. Come slight. Step side. Kick. Step front. Taking the leg out, leaning forward, grabbing the back in control. Combatively. It'll look like this. Other leg, other hand.
What we viewed earlier was the underhand in Tang Sudo on the block, rich hand strike, kicking with the shin into an arm bar. The left hand, the slow, stopping, striking, striking here into an arm bar. Aikido it looks like this, stopping here, wrist strike to the groin, following through. Right side, stopping here, wrist strike, right into the shoulder. Okay, combining the two, the underhand's coming out, you want to stop it at the back of Uke, or the person that you're selling attacking. Rich hand strike into the groin area, coming around with the shoot or the blade of the hand into the shoulder, causing the, the elbow to pop up, causing the person to go rolling over. Do it again in a slow, stopping it in the back. Rich strike, causing the body to come down, coming around, blade into the shoulder. Take it from another angle. No, right here. Punching here. Stopping here. Striking into the groin. Coming around. And chopping into the elbow. Causing him to roll over. Again. Underhand, stop him to the back. Ridge shot. Finish stick. Combatively, it'll look like this. Yes! Yes! Other side. Yes! 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 Again, same side. Yes! Yes! And same side. Yes! Yes! Hey! Us. Cover that again. All right, left side. Yes. The Tang Sudo strike from a two hand push. Mr. Galley stepped to the side, ridged arm into the midsection. Again, slow, stepping to the side, mid, uh, mid arm strike into the midsection. You do it the other way. All he did was step to the side and forearm 
ridge arm, a ridge hand into the midsection. Okay, in Aikido, we kept the energy coming, taking and redirecting the arm into the back and throwing. Tai Sabakian, which we recall body movement, half body, coming over to the side, keeping the attack going and letting it go where it wants to go. Combining the two principles, we're going to come here, ridge arm, following through into what we call a wheel throw. Again, slow, it's coming through, ridge arm, into a wheel throw. We'll try to take it towards the camera. Again, slow, ridge arm, into a wheel throw. Almost looks like the same technique we used before, which was the, which was the come along. The only difference is that we're taking this hand and going up his back, causing him to take a roll. Again, slow, ridge arm, causing him to go down, taking the back of the neck, redirecting him, and the throw. Slow again, do it on this side, here, ridge arm, back of the neck, into the throw. Combatively, it looks like this. Yes. Again, same side. Yes. Yes. Other side. Yes. Yes. And one more time. Ah. Uh, then on this side. We come slow. Yes. Yes. One more time. Hey. What? earlier was the Tangsudo principle was the grab and strike into the head. Okay, Aikido was a grab, block, blend in, go into a handshake, and the throw. Okay, now we're gonna go combine the two with the grip and the punch. Knowing that if you punch, if you uh, elbow down into the stomach area, the body causes to go down, you won't have any room to go under. You have to strike into the face area, causing him to go back into a handshake, what we call handshake, into a throw. Finishing the technique by taking him over onto his belly. Again, we'll show it slow, one, the elbow strike into the face causing his body to straighten up, getting underneath into a handshake which we, we, we call sankyo, the throw, going over the top of the head into an arm bar. Do it from the other side. The positioning of the hand which we call sankyo is the, hand sh the, the thumb should be right up on top grabbing the meat of the hand, okay? As he throws the punch, blocking, you're going underneath, torquing the wrist, going under, having this at a 45 degree angle, torquing up, causes him to go up on his toes, okay? Bringing the secondary hand Crossing the thumbs in the back, and the key fingers up. 
dropping key in this area causes him to flip. Keeping the grip of Sankyo, turning him into this area, Amma. Okay? You show it in a different angle. Show it in a different angle. It'll be here, turning underneath. Hand, three fingers on the inside palm. Key fingers out. Thumbs are crossed. Up into a 45 degree angle. Causes the person to get up on his tippy toes. The throw is back to your one point. The grip is still the same. Never leaving it, turning and talking into an arm bar. Hey. We'll, sh we'll show it a little combatively. It'll look like this. Other side. Hopefully after viewing this tape, you will have a better understanding of how Aikido can be blended into your martial arts system. While no one martial art is superior, by combining both styles and systems, you will have a better understanding of what the martial arts can be. And as you, the practitioner, will definitely get more out of the martial arts. Thank you, and hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks.